Welcome back to tutorials for Reaper.com. I'm Johnny from Red Sneaker Records. We're gonna go through how to change your theme in Reaper. If you like the the Reaper default pro, uh, profile, you probably don't really have to watch uh, this video. But um, if you're like me, I don't really, I wasn't really a fan of it. It looked all right. It did the job, but uh, for me, it wasn't flashy enough. It wasn't sleek enough. So. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom of this article, I've linked two of my favorite um, themes as of right now, which is uh, Lampshade Apollo and uh, White Ties Blender. So uh, let's go ahead and click on uh, this Apollo here. And we're just going to click on the open button. Once it's done downloading, it opens up right in the middle of our screen. So now that we have it downloaded and it's opened, let's go and navigate through and find our Reaper folder. So we're going to go to the start menu. We're going to go to computer. And then we're going to navigate through the C drive. Then the programs files. Program files. And we're going to scroll down until we find Reaper. And Reaper. Double click that. Okay, now in Reaper we see a bunch of stuff, one of which is color themes. So we're going to double click on color themes, and you can see a few of the things that I have in here. And what you're going to do is you're going to make it so that you can see both of these folders at the same time. And you're simply going to left click and hold and highlight both items. Then you're gonna left. Then you let go of the highlight so that you know your mouse is free. And then you're gonna left click and hold on one of the items, and then you're gonna drag it into the color themes area. You're gonna let go, and we're just gonna click OK because it's coming from my site, and I know that it's safe. And it'll start copying over. takes a little while it's extracting it's a bunch of little files and once it's done it's done okay there we go so to do the same thing in Windows XP it's gonna be very similar you're still gonna to go to the start menu but instead of saying computer it's gonna say my computer which is only a little bit different or maybe on your desktop you just double click my computer but once you're there it's pretty much the same thing gonna to go to the C drive gonna to go to program files you're going to go to uh, Reaper. So it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, the only other alteration, there might be uh, if you have a 64-bit operating system set up, you might say Pro Program Files x86 instead of having no title here, just regular Program Files. But it's all pretty much the same thing. So I recommend doing the same exact steps to get uh, the white tie blender and uh, let's go see what it looks like in uh, Reaper. So let me open up Reaper. So now that we're in Reaper, let's make a couple of tracks so that we can see what everything is going to look like once we change the theme. Um, we're going to go up here to Options, and we're going to go down to Themes. Maybe off your screen a little bit, but. Um, it's a second from the bottom under the options menu. Then we're going to go up here and left click on Apollo. And let's go ahead and change. You can see the, the theme is it's same layout, but the images are, are way different. This is probably my favorite theme. Everything's very easy to see. It looks kind of like a classic mixer. You can also go through and we can look at Blender. Blender, this is a regular Blender. Looks pretty flashy, kind of futuristic looking. And then on uh, my favorite out of the Blenders is the dark one, which looks really nice. And when you go ahead and you um, set colors and everything, they look really snazzy. So, uh, you know, it doesn't look as random. It doesn't look as... Uh, default I guess you could say as the uh, as the default theme but still my favorite is this Apollo 
just looks uh, very simple. Anyway, so that's pretty much it for changing your themes. Now, I have linked in the post how to go to the forums, how to go to the stash on um, reaper.fm. So you can go ahead and search for some new themes and do the same steps and put them in the same spot to uh, try out something new. All right, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching Tutorials for Reaper. And I'm Johnny from Red Sneaker Records.